NVIDIA has been the ultimate AI play so far, but my next guest has two names he calls underappreciated beneficiaries from the AI boom. One of them is First Solar. He's now upped his price target twice in just two weeks, and First Solar has soared nearly 40 percent since his initial call on that in late May. Joining me now is UBS analyst John Wyndham. John, it's great to have you. Uh, welcome. And, um, you know, a lot of us know First Solar as kind of the U.S. solar play, and that worked for quite some time until um, we kind of hit the post-COVID hangover. How much of an AI beneficiary do you think it could be now? Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. You know, really, in our view, First Solar benefits from three of the largest macroeconomic trends going on right now. That's first, the decarbonization of electricity, two, the reshoring of U.S. Uh, manufacturing jobs, and then three, and maybe the most overlooked, is their direct exposure uh, to growth in electricity demand, particularly as related to AI. And just to give you some evidence of how that's been playing out, those three big trends, First Solar's order book is up 350 percent in two years, even though the stock and a lot of clean energy stocks have traded sort of sideways to down around some pessimism uh, around higher interest rates and the impact on their earnings. We're projecting First Solar, which made less than $8 a share in 2023, for their earnings to grow to more than $36 a share in 2027. Wow. So there's tangible financial estimates on their benefit from these three big factors. But don't you think people are coming around to that now, or do you think you're still out of consensus on how much their benefit? In other words, is that benefit already priced in? Yeah, I think we're a lot less out of consensus um, than we were before we published the report two weeks ago. It was really on the 21st of last month. Really what we had seen in the market was maybe a little bit of a misunderstanding about how these large tech companies actually meet their 100% renewable goals. And we just sort of spelled it out to people a little bit on how they charge a lot of their operations directly off the grid, but then through their sustainability offices will then go procure um, renewable power equal to their consumption. And that actually underpins a lot of the direct financing of utility scale solar in particular in the United States. And I think the market was just missing that link. And as we highlighted that uh, to, to the market, I think it got a really good reception. Investors are interested in digging more into the idea. The shares are up 55 percent year to date. Now they're trading at 267. Uh, your price target started at 252, you know, not even a month ago. It's now at 350. Is that right? Yes, and it's really when we think about our price target is real, really with First Solar in the near term, it is a uh, multiple re-rating story, as I think a greater number of investors appreciate their direct connection to the growth in electricity driven by AI. Uh, longer term, however, there is earnings upside for a lot of the hardware suppliers in the utility-scale solar supply chain. That's largely driven because we're short utility-scale uh, solar projects in the United States. And so as demand takes off, we're building up a backlog that should be able to drive longer term earnings growth for these companies. Fluence is the other name that you think could be a beneficiary. Why? Yeah, Fluence is really uh, one of the um, only pure play storage names in uh, in, in the market. Tesla is the, the largest provider of utility scale storage. But you know, the, the short of it is essentially that as we add more renewables onto the grid, it creates l uh, large predictable price changes intraday. The easy way to think about it is the sun comes up during the day, solar power comes on, prices go uh, down in wholesale electricity markets. And then at night, prices go back up. Well, if you buy a Fluence battery system and connect it to the grid, mm. financial players can actually arbitrage that. And that's driving, I think, a lot of demand. And Fluence, which is a much smaller market cap company than um, First Solar, I think might actually have more leverage to the upside on this whole idea.